What you doing? <laughs> Putting on my pants. <laughs> it's cold in the desert. <laughs> These are the key to success. Are they though? Yeah. Where are we? Do you even know? <laughs> <laughs> no? No. Okay. 160 k's from Alice. About that. We're at Desert Oak Rest Area. And this is where we're staying for the night. And then it's another couple hours to Uluru. So we'll go there tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Are they the desert oaks? Is that the one your mum loves? I think so. Ah, there you go, Susanna. Some with crows in them. All right, I've got to put this camera down. I'm getting a bit, I'm getting a bit chaotic. Chaotic. Alright, we're just about ready to go and I'm feeling really pumped. What about you? I'm pretty keen and I'm actually yeah. kind of keen for the drive too because we've been listening to Jimmy Carr's audiobook. Yeah. What's that called? Can't remember. I'll have to put it here or something like that. <laughs> but it's kind of really good and it's really fitting for like the journey we're kind of on because he just like uprooted his life at 25 or something and gave up his corporate gig and started sort of pursuing what he wanted to do. It's been good. I'm keen yeah. to listen to that on the road and I'm also keen to get to Uluru. Yeah, and I I'm, I'm really love this little free camp, this rest area here on the side of the road because it's just like, given that red dirt, like outback country vibes. Excited. <laughs> I'm pretty excited too. <laughs> Let's go. What have we spotted? Hey, news. Spotted in the distance. There it is, Mount Connor. Mount Connor. No, I'm kidding. Look at it in all its glory. <laughs> no, but hopefully, as we come around the corner. Behind Mount Connor. Behind we'll Mount Connor. <laughs> Stop. There is Mount Connor. That's a nice boulder. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder.
So we're really excited. So we've just come straight to Uluru and there it is there. Yeah, and we've come to the sunset viewing area. We've still got a couple of hours to kill. So we're gonna make lunch now and then sit in the back and enjoy that. The first thing that we thought when we saw it was just how big it is. And it's really like awe inspiring. Like we've seen photos and videos obviously, but really just doesn't do it any justice. Really excited to see what sunset looks like over it. Not a bad spot for lunch. Could be worse spot to have a burger. Well, we're super stoked because we just hit a big milestone that we had, which was hitting a thousand subscribers on YouTube and that just ticked over this afternoon. We also have hit the 4,000 hours of watch time requirement. That means we can now join the YouTube partner program or apply to do it. And I feel like there's probably not really a better place that this could have happened, sort of like it's meant to be. Yeah, thanks for everyone who's been watching the channel who subscribed and supported us. It really means a lot. And yeah, we're just super stoked at the moment and we're just gonna chill here, wait for the sun to go down. just absolutely stunning like the glow it gets you know you see photos but definitely doesn't do it justice it is so much bigger <laughs> than what i thought just the way it changes color like seemingly every second it kind of just went from like orange to brown in like a, just a couple of seconds yeah was, yeah and then out here is a really cool sunset on the other side we're just heading to camp now about half an hour away Good morning. Actually, hang on. Oh, that's better. It is freezing cold here. We're about to head off now and see sunrise at Uluru. What you got there? Apple. <laughs> it's cold. It is cold. special not as nice as sunset but it was definitely worth coming to see that now we need to go get something warm hot coffee because it is 5.4 feels like one it's fresh sunrise spot and we had some brekkie there and just hung out for a while and decided to kind of drive around and it was stunning like it's just so big it's crazy i still look like an eskimo fyi it's still cold it's if warmed you're, up a bit it's 11 and a half degrees now yeah and i'm just not built for this you're built like a baked bean a big a big bean <laughs> like a baked Bean. Yeah, we eat. We did have baked beans have for baked beans. Marecki. But yeah, we're going to go do the 10, I think it's 10 or 11k walk around and just take it all in because this is insane. If you are thinking about coming here, do it because it is so much bigger and better in person, in my opinion. Wild. You just got to fight the crowds. Then you don't have to fight anyone. Don't fight them. There's <laughs> lots of people here though. There are quite a few people, but you know. Oh yeah, I got gloves on too. <laughs>
Look, we found a small little roo. Tiny. Scale, scale model. Like a baby. It's much faster to walk around that one, I think. <laughs> We're enjoying our walk, but we wish we had ridden our bikes because there's a lot of people riding bikes. Yeah, there's, there's the debate between the walkers and the bikers. It's like All the walkers we pass that we say we should have ridden our bikes, they're like, but you get to take it in. But we could have ridden slowly. Then all of the bikers are like stopping every so often to like take it in that way. Pros and cons to each. I'd ride my bike if I did it again. <laughs> Who stopped <laughs> us from riding our bikes? That was you. No, it was you. Look how clear it is though. Big old tick for the base walk. We're finished that now. Had some leftover buns, so gonna make burgers. First time ever making tofu burgers. Mm. Yeah, I'm interested to see what it's like. I am hungry. We're just heading into the little village that's just outside the park because we have to fill up the diesel. I'm a little bit concerned about how much it's gonna cost. But I think there's only one place open that sells fuel here. So let's see how much it is and also have a little look at the little village I think there's a few little shops and some accommodation and that sort of thing there as well. Yeah. Well they stinging us. 261.9. It's not the worst we've <laughs> no. seen but no. it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Last drop. <laughs> 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 no. I can't believe you farted. <laughs> oh, you're nasty. We're just trying to appreciate the bird. So we stayed around to uh, watch sunset again over Uluru. And then we stayed to take some astro photography and it was I think it was 7.32 and the park closes at 7.30 and the ranger came and kicked us out. <laughs> they don't muck around and don't waste any time and now he's like following us out. <laughs> anyway, hopefully we got some shots. Morning everyone, we are heading to Katajuka. Go for a walk there and we just spotted our second dingo of the trip. But this one actually just stayed. He's sitting like a good boy. Stayed sitting, yeah, he's just sat down. <laughs> I don't think he would do that on command. <laughs> no. But he's kind of just like as curious as we are, just watching us. We're gonna keep going on our journey now. doing the gorge walk. Look at that. It's pretty impressive. Very. We opted for the shorter hike of the... 2.6 k's. Something like that. There's like three... There's like a 7.4 k walk. I think it's Valley of the Winds. Lookout walk or something along those lines. Heard really good things about that. But... We did really... 10 k's yesterday, so... Yeah, and then... Just being a bit lazy today. The sunrise wake up, so I'm just feeling a little more tired so I'm taking it easy. Like this is crazy. Wow. <laughs> hey Brooke. Huh? I'd say this is gorgeous, wouldn't you? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Come on. Found a nice home for themselves up there. Perfect conditions for trees. Racy to finish. Do a flip. 
flip. Heading back to the van now for some lunch. That was a nice little walk. And the highlight for me was we spotted a little mouse. Not exactly sure what it was. I think it was a Spinifex mouse though, but there's no reception here to check. But it was just under the little platform viewing area at the end of the walk, just running around there. Time for some lunch now. Well, we just did another little walk at Katajuta. We've now come back to Uluru to watch our last sunset here, I guess, for now anyway. It's our yeah. third sunset. Um, and I think we're gonna wrap this one up here as we make some plans for the next parts of our trip. It's been absolutely an amazing experience. The sunsets here especially are just, like it's the best sunset the best we've, we've ever seen. seen it's for sure. just, the and way it's like it day in, day out. There's like we've done two sunsets in similar spots here and yeah. You could just come here every day and just watch the sunset. So yeah, it's, if, if you're thinking about coming here, it's definitely worth coming here once in your lifetime, just because the photos don't do it justice. Yeah, or videos are just, it's yeah. It's bigger and better than ever. And just the way the light shines off it and all that, yeah. It's, it's incredible. It's pretty incredible. I guess just keep in mind, it's probably one of the most expensive national parks as well. <laughs> yeah, because the pass, that you need a special pass. It's almost a bit like a theme park. They've got a gate at the entry and you need a pass to get into here. And that pass covers both here and Katajuda. And check out Katajuda as well. As because well, yeah. That's insane. Yeah, I think we did, we've done about three days here. And yeah, we did like, we came in late late-ish on the first day a full day at Uluru doing the base walk and then like the best part of today at Katajuda this afternoon and then I think we'll head off tomorrow I wouldn't think there'd be any need to spend any more time you'd probably feel a bit rushed if you tried to do it in like a day, a day or say. so yeah and, and because you're coming so far you might as well spend a couple days here yeah in terms of accommodation too you've got your main i think they call it the airs rock resort so it's like you've got little cabins and apartments but also a campground there it's quite expensive and it's about i'd say 15 20 minutes from uluru itself if and you're self-contained sorry but yeah but if you're self-contained check wiki camps there are camps yeah a little bit out of About there. About half an hour to, to an hour. Like there's quite a few along the along way. The road. Check wiki yeah. camps. That's Check our tip. Wiki camps. Because I think the campground here it's, can go, get up yeah. to about $90 for a powered site. And Depending, yeah. How many people? Yeah. I'm so glad that we that we came here. It's a worthwhile thing to see. Once in a lifetime probably sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to watch the sunset. Enjoy that. And we'll see you in the next one. If you weren't married, this would be a pretty good proposal spot, wouldn't it? Anyone out there who's uh, looking to propose? Might be the spot. This might be it. A few moments later. Oh, I predicted that. <laughs> Congrats to these guys that just got engaged. Did her any show? <laughs> what are the chances? Yeah, I don't know. I guess probably high. It's a good spot. How exciting. <laughs> Is that Shun? <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. So Julius's mum, hey Susanna, is German. And Julius, although he's not fluent now, used to be, but knows a few phrases and can understand most things that are going on. But we had a German family just out here like chatting and, and Julius is like, oh, I'll just like say, like very beautiful to them. And as you would have just seen, but she was just like, I didn't want to record her because there's not permission, but she was just like, <gasps> like absolutely shocked and then kind of just like ran away <laughs> and we were like not sure about that reaction and we were like okay well either she was just shocked because we had kind of had an interaction with her earlier um talking australian just like yeah fully just bogan nah, just like full australian you know accent but she just came and said bye she's like bye bye and then i was just like choose <laughs> and she's just like <laughs> and then ran away again. So I thought that was pretty funny. It's gonna go beefies. So we just left 
Ne. 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 Ne.